All right. All right, thank you. Hello, everyone. How's everybody uh, enjoying Dreamforce this year? Yeah, a lot of great announcements, right? <laughs> I'm excited. Hey, so um, my name is John Wong. You know, I work for Ring Central, and we're here to talk about how you can embed Ring Central in Salesforce and customize it in just 15 minutes, right? So, how many of you here know about Ring Central or Ring Central customers? Awesome. All right, so you know, we have a Ring Central Salesforce integration today you know, that thousands of people use every day. But what we're going to show you today is how you can easily customize it, right? We have a lot of customers that want to customize Salesforce. They also want to customize Ring Central in Salesforce. So we're going to show you how we're going to help you do that today. So first of all, just a quick background on Ring Central. You know, most of you know this. You know, Ring Central is a you know, unified communications platform, right? So we do all business communications, right? From voice to SMS to fax to audio conferencing, video conferencing, uh, messaging, uh, team messaging, things like that, right? And we also do it on any device, right? So whether you're on a mobile phone, a hard phone, a headset, or you know, Apple Watch, or uh, iPad, right? So we support all of that. And um, this, this is our vision of the world, right? So we have our foundation, which is the core communications that every company needs, right? On top of that, we build value-added applications, right? Video meetings, conferencing, team collaboration to give you that one-stop shop. And finally, we tie it all together with, um, with analytics, global reach, right? So you no, you no longer have to go to uh, each carrier in every country to find like local phone numbers and lo local connectivity. And finally, just like Salesforce, we wrap up all our administrative and end user apps with a beautiful API, right? We have over 100 API endpoints that we provide to our users, including real-time messaging and real-time voice through WebRTC, right? So um, just a little bit more about Ring Central. I'll jump into how we can customize Salesforce. Uh, Ring Central is you know, the leading visionary and the uh, visionary leader in the Gartner Quadrant for th three years, right? 2017, 2016, 2015. We're also the leader, according to Frost and Sullivan, IHS Market, and Aragon Research, right? So you know, you're in good company if you pick Ring Central. Now, what we're going to show you today is you know, the Ring Central um, web phone. Right? So this is you know, the dialer that's embedded in Salesforce, which you know, drives you know, people's work every day. Right? So if you think about your agents, you know, they're making calls, they're receiving calls. They want their apps to be tightly tied together to save them time. Now, some of the basic use cases that we support are things like you know, click to dial. Right? So you, know, you, you, know, you find a user in a case. You need to call them. You, you know, the link is right there, and it links directly to Salesforce. Right, directly to Ring Central. The second thing is inbound screen pop. Right? So when a user dials in, what I want to do is I want to take the caller ID, look up the user's record in Salesforce, and bring it up automatically. Right? So uh, that's really important. So you get, have context, and the customer isn't waiting. Right? Another thing we want to do is automatic call logging. Right? So you know, when a call ends, we automatically log that in Salesforce. You can take notes. It just automatically shows up. And finally, we add like, real-time analytics, and we support that at a global scale. So that's all available today. What we're going to allow you to do today, we're going to show you in the next uh, 16 minutes now, is we're going to show you how to add some really popular use cases that our customers ask for. One is, you know, how can I do additional screen pops? Right? So you know, it's great to bring up Salesforce, but what if I want to bring up the user in LinkedIn? I want to bring up the user in Google, or even my own internal CRM. How do I do that? And the second thing is, how do we customize it? Like we all, see, we all saw the Salesforce keynote, where with Salesforce, it can be completely customized to your environment. Right? T-Mobile can be pink and everything like that. So we're also going to show you how you can customize Ring Central directly into your environment to look like, have your own look and feel. And that's just a start. Right? The reason we're offering this is because although we have this CTI widget and we give it away, you know, when people want to build this themselves, it's actually a lot of work, right? It takes people months of effort to build this. And one reason is because it has a lot of complicated UI, right? Not everyone has those UI engineers to do that. And the second thing is, you know, as you know, browser versions change, as Salesforce versions change, you have to upgrade, you have to do a lot of testing. And finally, people want to customize it, right? This is Salesforce, right? And this is Ring Central. So 
what we've done is we've taken all the work that we put into our own product and we've wrapped it up into a SDK to give it away to all our customers. And this comes in two flavors, right? So one flavor is the out-of-the-box flavor, right? So you have an out-of-the-box widget, widget, the same thing that you see in Salesforce or Google, right? You can just drop into any app with like five lines of code, right? You know, we had a hackathon the previous weekend. One of our customers, he was a, um, he was a Joomla CMS administrator, not even a developer, and he was able to add this to his Joomla website in just a few minutes, right? So that's the power of getting started. But it just, that's just the beginning because you, there's a lot of hooks you can use to customize the behavior. The second thing is if you want to change the UI, we've broken up all the individual UI components into a component library using the React, right? So React is a very popular open source you know, JavaScript front end framework now. We use it internally for our own apps. And now we're giving that away to you as well. So as you can see on the screen, we have like each individual component available, including like the dial pad, the active call screen, everything like that, where you can, you know, you can customize it, you can swap out things you know, yourself. And all of this is available on GitHub today. Right? So we have a very big and powerful GitHub presence. Right? So if we go to github.com slash ring central, you can find our web widget, which is an all-in-one widget, the, um, the JavaScript component library on the JS widgets, and we also have a set of demos. Right, so we have like five different demos to show you how you can incorporate this into your own app, whether it's a static HTML app, you know, Salesforce, or even a Java desktop app. You know, how you can embed Ring Central communications directly into that. Right? And this is under active development now, right? So our teams are actively working on this. We invite you to start using this you know, right away and provide us feedback. All right, I'm gonna do a demo now. Let's get started. All right. Let's see. Let's get to the right screen. All right. All right. So uh, this is a regular Salesforce screen here. Right now, there's no um, CTI at all. You know, I've loaded in a bunch of users, and if I click on the phone number, like nothing happens. All right. So now we're gonna wire in Ring Central and do some customization. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the CTI adapter to my uh, sales console. Lightning, Lightning sales. Go to edit. Utility bar. Add. Open CTI. And I'm going to call this uh, Ring Central. Done. So. Uh, how many here are familiar with like Visual Force Pages or Apex? OK, great. So all that code you saw there is, comes all out of the box. And what we're going to do is we're going to wire it into Salesforce using an Apex page and a small, visual, uh, small Apex helper. Right? So if I come to, so this is our uh, tutorials app. Right? So you can see a number of tutorials here. There's um, the, our Java desktop app, Salesforce Lightning, Salesforce Lightning More, which is an all-in-one demo. The, the Salesforce Lightning demo itself is step-by-step, -step, so it walks you through each of the use cases. For this demo, I'll just go through the, um, uh, the all-in-one use case. And here you can see the Visual Force page. This is in uh, four different sections for the use cases. All right, so I'll make this a little larger. So you know, the first thing we do is we load in um, the Ring Central phone in an iframe, right? So just with that one line of code, you'll have Ring Central inside your Salesforce environment. The next thing we want to do is wire it into um, click to dial, right? So you can see all we, we have like about 10 lines of code here. And basically what I do is I call Salesforce, the S Force object, and I call enable click to dial to turn it on in your app. The second thing I do is I register a callback. So I said, when I click a, an action inside Salesforce, I'm going to send that message to Ring Central. Right? I'm going to send the phone number, and then Ring Central is automatically going to dial out. Right? And this is a two way integration. Right? So it's not just from Salesforce to Ring Central, it's also from Ring Central into Salesforce. So when I do an inbound screen pop, Ring Central is getting the notification of the call first. And then it's going to send that message to Salesforce via a callback that you see right here. Right? So this says, um, when I receive a message, I'm going to look for the Ring Central RC call ring notify event. 
and then I'm going to uh, call our Apex helper function. And all that does is it takes a phone number and pulls back the Salesforce contact object that I can use, right? And then the last one is uh, automatic call logging. So here I'm also going to subscribe for a Ring Central event, which tells me when a call has ended, right? And then once a call is ended, not only do I get the information on who was calling, but I also get the information on how long the call went for. And then I can also inject custom information. All right, so let's, let's, uh, let's load this into Salesforce. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to go new Visual Force page. I'm just going to call this RC phone. And I get an empty Apex page, which I'm going to replace with a page from GitHub. All right, hit save. All right, and then I'm also going to add an Apex helper class, right? We need the Apex class to call the database, right? So this does two things. One is it has that search contact method that I told you about earlier, right? I just send it a phone number, and it looks up the contact inside Salesforce, right? And the second function that I have is for logging a call, which is I'm going to take information from the call from the browser, and I'm going to create a task object and insert it inside uh, Salesforce. So let me just take this, and I'm going to create a new Apex class, RC phone helper. All right. So just a little bit of code here, uh, 28 lines. Hit save. All right, great. So now I should be all set in Salesforce. So let's uh, reload the Sales Console and take a look. All right, so now I see I have Ring Central down in the lower right-hand corner, and um, I have my web phone here. One thing you'll notice in this demo that's a little bit different from our official Salesforce integration is with this demo, we have WebRTC built right in. Right? So you can make calls and receive calls directly from your browser. Now, this is something that we're going to be launching with our official Salesforce integration shortly as well. So you'll have all those features, uh, whether you know, you're using our off-the-shelf integration or building your own. All right, so now I can dial, but let me, uh, let me do a click to dial first, right? So now I'm looking through my Salesforce console. I see um, this data. This, uh, this is actually demo data from Game of Thrones. So you can see all the Game of Thrones users here. But let me say I want to call Jon Snow, right? So previously, when I clicked on this, nothing happened. So now when I click on this, the Ring Central phone automatically shows up. It shows Jon Snow, and it starts dialing like right away. So how easy was that? All right, so I'm going to call my phone here. And then now you can see the call has started, and you, know, you have the you know, call time in the upper you know, right-hand corner. OK. I'm just going to hang up. Now let's move on to the next, uh, next use case. So I'm going to show you inbound uh, screen pop, just that little bit of code to uh, register, uh, receive the event, and look up the contact. Got it. All right, so I'm dialing now, and uh, I should be receiving a call inside Salesforce soon. And see, there you go. So, um, so the phone comes up. The call is right here. You know, I can see right away that you know John Snow has a support case, like right? he needs to be rescued. Right. So now I'm going to go um, answer the call, and you know, as the Salesforce agent, you know, I already know you know what my customer is calling me about. Right? I don't have to run around and you know, ask him questions. You know, it reduces a lot of like, frustration, and, it's and it saves time. Right? And then now I'm just going to hang up here. And then I'm going to wait a moment. And I'm going to uh, refresh my screen. Right? And now you can see uh, I have an automatically call log like right here, which is from today, just now. And right now, I have my from, my to, and the duration, 17 seconds, right? Now, obviously, this is just the base. You know, you can configure this to do what you want. And in the next uh, month or so, we're going to put in a UI in this so you can type your own notes as well, just like our built-in Salesforce integration. All right, so, you know, that's all great, right? You know, we saw something new. We saw WebRTC. 
but you know, this is what our you know, regular Salesforce integration has. So let's do something new, right? So, as I mentioned earlier, our customers want to do additional screen pops. So how do I pull up a LinkedIn search or a Google search with this? Let's go on my developer console again and uh, pull up the Visual Force page. Right, so if I come down here and I look at the inbound screen pop section, here I re I'm already pulling back the Ring Central contact, the Salesforce contact, right? So the contact name, and I also have the account name. But see, you can see here I have like just two lines of code, one to open up a Google search and one to open up a LinkedIn search. Because these are websites, you can just query them very easily by appending the name to the URL. And even a non developer can see this by just you know, doing a search inside these websites. So I'm going to comment these out now and then show you this working. Save. Right? So now you know, I have my GitHub and Ring Central tags on top. So now let me make another call. So John Snow is going to call again, and we'll see what our agent receives. All right. All right. So, oh, I think I forgot to refresh my page. All right, so the call came in, but um, one thing about Salesforce is when you change the Visual Force page, you actually need to reload the page. All right. So let me do that and make another call. All right. So now, when I receive a call, I see the speaker inside uh, Salesforce. So I can see I have a call. But at the same time, let's see, answer that. At the same time, you know, I have, you know, John, I see that John Snow in LinkedIn, he's an enterprise architect, but that's not really who I'm looking for, right? So let's go to Google. And I see Google, John Snow is from the Game of Thrones. So this is just a quick demo, but like, see, as you can think about it, this can, you can also hook this up into any of your internal sites as well, so it's not just public sites that you can get, get, um, get access to. And then finally, I'm going to show you a demo on how you can customize this, right? You know, so you know, you're inside Salesforce, you're customizing Salesforce for your users, but I also want to customize Ring Central. So I'm going to pull up uh, the Visual Force page again. See, and then um, so we we created a new theme for this, which is just one uh, CSS page, right? We put this together just in like uh, 15 minutes. So let me reload this, and now when I bring up the phone, you can see that you know the color has changed. It's no longer blue; this is black, and I'm using. Oh, where is it coming up? I'm using all the, you know, um, all the Game of Thrones fonts, right? So you can see history has an O with the vertical bars in this, right? So um, this can just be done with CSS. You don't have to touch any code to customize Ring Central, right? So this is just to give you a taste of the power that we're providing and we're putting in your hands. Right? And this, like I said, this is all available for today for you to use. Let me just jump back to my presentation to wrap up. Um, so Ring Central, as probably all of you know, we have like over 350,000 customers. You know, we're, the, you know, we're the leader in unified communications. So if you've seen like the Salesforce you know, uh, market share graphs where Salesforce is going up, you know, Ring Central is doing exactly the same in the unified communications market. Right? Um, you know, as you saw, you know, Gartner, uh, Frost and Sullivan, they all say we're the leader, and our customers say that as well. And then uh, finally, here's, uh, here are the um, GitHub URLs again, you know, for you to uh, come get information for us. And then this is also linked to our developer portal, which is at developer.ringcentral.com. And then we also have a presence both here in the developer forest and also in the main expo. Right? So if you have any questions for us, you know, stay here, you know, talk to me afterwards, or you know, join us at the, uh, our, our, our booth right here under the Sunset camp Campfire location. All right, and we are just out of time. All right.